as a greater community, right, we have to agree that the First Amendment is pretty rock solid. You know, you, I want the right and freedom of speech for the person I don't agree with as much as I do for the person I do agree with. And when you wake up and you think, and that's your thought pattern every day. Like when I read Chomsky, Chomsky tells you freedom of speech is for the person who's your adversary as much as for you. And if you don't believe that, you don't believe in freedom of speech, right? I have to believe in George Wallace's freedom of speech as vehemently as I do Martin Luther King. I believe as vehemently our president has freedom of speech as I do for all the opposition he has because I need to hear honestly what you're thinking in order to honestly engage you, not change you, not beat you, not defeat you, but engage you. So first, I'm seeking simply to engage you. And if I engage you, I have to do that on a ground where it's safe for us to speak to one another. So I encourage you to not only make it safe for people you agree with to speak, but you have to make it safe for people you don't agree with to speak also.